si Prince Charming pala to eh. I couldn't find him. Could you? Sa likod ng puno. He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. Oh, just stay quiet. Kaya mo yan. Ryan, look who we found. Bayan, di marun magtago. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. Oh, I'm on a man. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. Roderick is dead. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gav to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about me, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Ooh. He calls you a milk Sir Dash Talk. Sir Royland forgets himself. I'll, I'll have, have him punished. punished for saying that. See, King Joffrey in the making. Mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were gonna be we all used to play Jeffrey here? Jr. Me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the lord in training. He never smiled anymore. And Asher Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. We'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? <laughs> of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. You're not the boss of me. I am the Lord here. Fine. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord. I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Must do well your job. Then. Promote ka na. Na promote ka lang tinamat ka na magtrabaho. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. 
I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, well, you're decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Let's be diplomatic. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. <laughs> you little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. You had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. You killed yeah. his family. Attacked for no reason. <clears throat> no reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed yes. my men. And a pig farmer at Yes, that. he killed How him. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the... How do you answer for your men? This house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers were the hundred uh, of their time. Where's the fucking bird. captain who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. You can try. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Oh, the sass. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own, that the new ah, Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. 
You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. I don't even know what the craven is. Craven. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Oh, si na take note ng minutes. Okay, si 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 Mira. <laughs> wow. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Ethan made this for me. And again. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. I'm going to send you Essos. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh, so be near the pala and finish that there. Ano yun? Basahin mo kasi. <laughs> Father. <clears throat> Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Roderick's dead. Hindi mo ba alam? Padala kaya kami ng email. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Who is it? One moment. Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Sino to? Ah, okay. Tala kuwa ng ano to? Ah, tala ni ng call. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. It's private. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Not a good time. Perhaps you should come back later. Yeah. Paka 
alam mo meron ka kasi. Simp. Ah, <gasps> Marjorie. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. I am voice up. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. How can I be a traitor? She was very pleased with herself. I'm, I'm no not traitor. traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford sure. any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. Sure. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Humor her? Should I tell a joke? See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Coaching moon at I bago to masap. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Ah, uh, Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. You can do this. Yes, I can. Ayoko na uwi na ako. Uh, 